a YouTuber, uh, how you do, uh, uh, when you do what you do, uh, uh, what you do, uh, a YouTuber, how you do, uh, uh, when you do what you do, uh, uh, when you do, uh, what's up YouTube, Boski Squad, Boski keeping it real TV, <laughs> Back on the rise, anyways. How y'all feeling today? Today is April 24th. It is Friday afternoon. It's about 2.10 in the p.m. And um, I'm sitting in Rusty right now. As you guys can see, Rusty. Rusty is my six-speed 2008 Jeep Wrangler two-door anyways yeah I haven't made a video slash blog in a couple of days I don't know like Bolski squad let me kick it with you Make sure ain't nothing in my face and my eyes, like no eye boogers or nothing like that, you know, because I always got something on my face. I look at the video after, I be like, damn, bitch. You ain't see that shit on your lip? You ain't see that shit in your eye? You ain't see that shit on your face? Anyways. All right. Um, It's good to be back. I don't even know why that's, I said that. But anyways, I just want to talk about what's going on with me. Like I shared with you guys before that Mrs. Corona, this whole pandemic thing is like, it's a new normal for us right now. It seems like everything is virtual, like virtual video, doctor's appointments is virtual, you know, family and friends, virtual, you know, so video chats and things like that. Um, but I'm really, honestly, like I'm really, really enjoying this process and I shared before that I'm in a 12-step program but I, you know I've been thinking like what I really want to talk to you guys about and what I really want to talk to you guys about is I'm in a you know I'm 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 in a I'm in a space in my life I'm in a place in my life where I want to build healthy healthier relationships um first is the relationship with the god of my understanding that's the first relationship is so detrimental in my life yeah i don't go to church you know what i mean um I don't know. Some people may think that's necessary and needed. But me right now, just for the day, like, especially with this pandemic thing, ain't nobody going to church. But um, I, I'm just, you know, I, I need to build a stronger relationship with the God of my understanding, which is what I'm doing without a doubt. True, true without a doubt. And then the second is the the relationship that I need to improve with myself, which is not an issue at all. Um, because I'm really learning to accept myself as I am, who I am, the way I look, everything. You know, like, it is what it is. There's things about myself that I don't like. I need to change them and work on them. 
and when I say that, I'm, I'm basically talking about the the exterior, like the outside. You know, I'm a little overweight or whatever. But right now, that's not my top priority because, like I said, I'm a 4C. I'm a cute, chubby, chunky chick. So, you know, it is what it is just for the day. And if anybody likes me, they're going to like me for who I am, the way that I am right now. Who I am, the way that I am right now. So, you know what I'm saying? Like, so if it's... um. If it's not conducive to your liking or whatever, it is what it is. So I can't really worry about that. And I'm not really worried about that. The third thing is the relationship with others. And that's, you know, all all types of people that is in my life. Families, friends, coworkers, you know what I'm saying? Those relationships is most important that... I am willing to work on today and it's very imperative and necessary and I thank God like the one thing that I have really been absolutely oh my God what is the word is like I just been so full like spiritually um spiritually uh, let me say it again. Spiritually, like I've been so full because on the spiritual level, because this whole pandemic thing has taken my recovery process to a deeper level. Um, because now that we're able to make meetings virtually, I've been making meetings all day, every day. Day and it's been phenomenal. It's been absolutely phenomenal. And all of the meetings I've been attending, I have 24 years clean in my process. I have never gotten this much experience in my whole 24 years. That I have never gotten this much experience than I have gotten in the last two weeks of my recovery process. Two, three weeks, I've gotten so much experience, strength, and hope from making these Zoom meetings on a regular basis. I've my whole 24 years clean, I ain't never made this many meetings. And 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 it is absolutely amazing. Like I am learning so much from all of the people in recovery around the globe. I got a glow back there, but I don't know I took it out it's in Jazzy V. The the meetings is just it's amazing and it's teaching me about relationships. And um I you know one thing I know about myself is I am in love with love. Like, I love being in a intimate relationship. I love having a partner. I love having a wifey, somebody to share my space with, share my place with. And, um, like, I've been really paying attention. See, I'm on a, I'm at a certain level in my program, and I've been really paying attention. They call it the 11 steps, so some people may not understand. But where I'm at in my program on my 11th step is I'm I'm on I'm at a place where I'm supposed to stay focused, pay attention. That's what the 11th step is mostly about: paying attention and staying focused. I've been realizing things, qualities that I'm looking for in a potential partner. You know, somebody that's going to match my level of maturity. Or even she may be a little bit more mature than me. And I'm mature. I'm, I, I am a mature motherfucker. So she may be a little bit more mature than me. And she could bring my, mature, my maturity level up to her. Or, you know, but I'm really paying attention to the type of mate that I want to share my life with. And um, it's... 
like, you know, I, and I told, I always tell y'all, like, I like to keep it real. I have no problem with being honest about what's going on with me and stuff like that. But I don't want to put people in uncomfortable situations. So I'm going to definitely find out before I drop this video if it's okay with the person I'm about to talk about. It's my coworker. Me and my coworker had this deep conversation last night um, because she... <laughs> I love my coworker. I mean, the girl is top shelf shit to me. I always said that she's smart and she's a boss. You know what I'm saying? She she got her own and she don't wait for no nigga to... She don't need no nigga. And she don't wait for no nigga to get her needs. Her needs, she meets her own needs. So, we, you know, we work together. And she is... I think I made a video about her. She's teaching me how to treat her. And it is absolutely amazing. Like, I'm loving the fact that she's teaching me how to treat her. Like, she's telling me certain things about me that affects her. You know, that makes her uncomfortable. And a lot of times, I just be bugging out. I be kidding. Like, I be playing. But it's still doesn't take away from her how it makes her feel even though it may be minor to me it's major to her because she's feeling it because it's coming from me so you know I had to practice some open-mindedness like even though I felt it was very minor I may have even felt it was petty like it's not that serious but if it's affecting her and making her feel some kind of way and uncomfortable, I have to respect that. And I have to open my mind and listen to her, not only with my ears, but with my heart. And that's what the hell I did last night. And it's kind of scary. It's kind of scary because this motherfucker, I, you know, she, I'm, I'm enjoying it. Like she's helping me to figure out the type of relationships that I want in my life. I want healthy relationships. Motherfuckers that are strong-minded. Like, I need mental stimulation. Like, if you don't stimulate me mentally, I get bored. So, we do. Like, we mentally stimulate each other. I, I know, because our conversations is, is really good. They deep. But I was, damn, I'm shaking and shit. <laughs> anyway, I was feeling like, I thought I was feeling attracted to her. Like, sexually attracted to her. Because it made me feel some kind of way. It made me feel funny. Like, damn, I like that she's teaching me how to treat her. But it's all a learning experience. I had to kick it with my dude. Like, I had to talk this over with my best friend. And I ain't going to say her name because y'all y'all ain't going to fucking whatever. Anyways, so my best friend know who, she talk, who I'm talking about because we was kicking it so deep this morning, me and my best friend, about she's, she was telling me that now that I'm back in my recovery process and I'm paying attention, I am noticing and realizing the type of qualities that I'm looking for in my potential partner, my wife, my mate, the one that's going to share this life, this beautiful gift of life that we've been blessed with. So that's exactly what it is. Like I needed my partner, my dog, my ace bone to help me in recovery. Now this is my motherfucker. I got a lot of best friends, but this is my motherfucker right here in recovery. I needed her to help me separate the feelings that I was getting. Because I was feeling like, damn, you know, I'm attracted to this motherfucker. Like, you know what I mean? But it's not that I'm attracted to her. I am attracted to her qualities. Like, she has some qualities that I'm looking for in my potential wife. So, it's like an amazing experience. Like I said, like... My coworker is a boss. She got a nice spot. 
You know what I'm saying? She is a, a paper chaser. Like, she got her own money. She got her... She, she can cook her ass off. Like, you know what I mean? She got a lot of qualities that I 